Church for their special number. Let's jam our hands together for Lord Jesus Christ. So, by more la chale, we be all you are, what you be a leggy. When you go shack, okay, hallelujah. That is not convincing enough. I know that you can do more than that. So, by more la chale, we be my band, what you be a leggy. Oh, that it be a lake of time. More time, more fire, okay, okay, hallelujah. Glory to the Shout hallelujah.
Can you turn to your neighbor and say, Welcome to day nine? Tell your neighbor, Today is do and live. Uh, not do or die. Uh, is do and live. People of God, I want you to hold on to God's garment like Jacob held on to that angel today. Jacob said, if you don't bless me, I will not let you go. I'm trusting that God will bless everyone here in Jesus' name. But I want you to hold on to him. I don't know whether you have ever met desperate people before. Desperate people. It's difficult to turn them down. But when you see somebody who you say, no, I cannot help you, and he just turns and goes, he's not desperate. When a man is desperate, you will know. You yourself will find a way to do something for him so that he can let you go. Today, as you hold on to the garment of the Lord, he will respond to you positively in Jesus' name. Please rise to your feet. I want us to take this song together. We are asking that the Holy Spirit will have his way. I said it from the beginning. This is one of the few meetings that I've attended and I've seen the Holy Spirit work every day in different ways. And I want us to pray that today he will have his way. Holy Spirit, have your way, Lord, have your way, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. Spirit, have your way in my life today. Open your mouth and pray that prayer, please. Pray it seriously, Holy Spirit, please. I know I'm the one that will be ministering, but Lord, have your way in my own life too. Have your way in my life. Move in a special way. Move in a unique way. Move in an amazing way. Move in a dumbfounding way. Have your way. Have your way. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord, that is our agreement. Holy Spirit, please have your way. Touch your people. Bless your people. Deliver your people. Heal your people. Lift your people. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please be seated. I'll try to move fast today. I want us to pray and I want us to finish in time. Yesterday, we saw the waymaker as a bulldozer. Do you remember? We said there are times when we have cut the center line we have determined the boundaries and the limits of the road and as you are going you meet some major obstacles and i want to share with you a passage that will illustrate what i'm talking about something i love about the bible there is nothing you will not find there nothing 
Engineering is there. Medicine is there. Nursing is there. Anything is there. Teaching is there. Any profession is there. Why? Because God is, I am that I am. He is everything to everybody. Isaiah 40. We will be looking at two verses. And I would appreciate it if we look first from the Amplified Translation. Isaiah 40 verses 3 and 4. Those are the two scriptures we'll be looking at. Isaiah 40 verses 3 and 4. It says, A voice of one who cries, Prepare in the wilderness the way of the Lord. Look at that first phrase. Prepare where? Where? In other words, Kositi Timbe. Abeg Babo. Kositi Timbe Tele. Can you see the beginning of engineering? The road I was talking about. There was no road. But God decided that he wanted to make a road there. A voice of one who cries, prepare in the wilderness the way of the Lord. Clear away the obstacles. Make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for our God. A what? Highway. Titini. It's, Arigidi Street is not a highway. There's difference between street and highway. Those of you who have been around the world, you will know highway when you see highway. M1 in London, that one is highway. Autobahn in Germany, that is highway. Where you have seven lanes on either side. Uh -huh, highway in here. Prepare a highway for the Lord. He said, clear the way. I love it. Remove the obstacles. That's where bulldozing comes in. He said, make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for our God. We are still coming to that. But first, let's look at bulldozing. The way maker as a bulldozer. Make a highway. How do you make a highway? Let's go to verse 4. How do you remove obstacles? Because on roads, like I told you, there are different obstacles. Look at how he said you will make the highway. How you will remove the obstacles. Every valley shall be lifted and filled up. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked and uneven shall be made straight and level, and the rough places a play. You know, life is enjoyable when your way is, is straight, is level. I have a family friend. We have a family friend in the U.S. Loves traveling a lot. Traveling to him is like he's going from here to to somewhere like Lokoja. He doesn't think twice, just pick his key and go. I said, Oh girl, you know how to travel. I said I love traveling. But in my mind I said, Titi Dani. Come to Nigeria, you will hate traveling. I used to love traveling when I was much younger. I used to look, what do people need drivers for? I love traveling, I love driving. But when the roads became progressively worse, when you will travel from here to Lagos and you will come back, boat at the are at the pata pata, you will not love traveling. Traveling is enjoyable when the road is smooth, when it is level, when it is plain. He said, every valley shall be filled. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. There are mountains in life. Oh. Ah, there are mountains. Our mothers and daddies will tell you there are mountains. Physically, there are mountains. Apologies oh, to any 
body from Abel Kuta here. The first time I went to Abel Kuta and they were doing Olumoro, but I'm walking in on money. Say, Kate, come to a kitty, like you will see hills, mountain. Apologies, oh, if you are from Abel Kuta, but you know, there is mountain and there is mountain. Thank God they call it Olumoro, they didn't say Olumoro mountain. Between Ikeji, the junction of Ikwetu, you turn left to Ikeji Le. Between Ikeji Le and Ogotun, there is a mountain there. No matter how new your car is, no matter how strong, when it gets to that place, you will change the gear. A mountain is designed to drain your energy. A mountain is designed to task you. A mountain is designed to delay you. And that's why I'm praying for you. Any mountain waiting for you in 2021, the over bulldozer will level it in Jesus' name. There are mountains. Can we go back to verse 3? I want us to read it in a special way. We are going to be using it to pray. Look at how I will read it. And then you will read it like that for yourself. A voice of one who cries, prepare in 2021 the way of Baba Tunde Obaweya. Clear away the obstacles. Make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for his family. Can you rise to your feet? You know, it is as if there is a command from heaven, that voice. It's as if that voice is crying and say, as far as 2021 is concerned, Baba Tunde's way must be prepared. I hear that voice speaking over all those church members and saying, as far as 2021 is concerned, Every obstacle in your way is cleared. Let's read it together. You read it and personalize it. One to go. A voice of one who cries. Prepare in 2021 the way of Babatunde or Baweya. Clear away the obstacles. Make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for his family. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer? Prepare a way for me. That is what that voice is shouting and crying. For Baba Tunde in 2021, prepare a way, remove the obstacles. Let the heavenly bulldozer, let the heavenly bulldozer remove the obstacle. Ma bra yegende she pra yagadaba. Nengra koso pra yagadaba. Let the heavenly bulldozer remove the obstacles. Ma braka sanda da kata shebre keto shere aba. Nengre keto sobre de kata sari aba. In Jesus name we pray. Let's pray it like this. Can you shout waymaker? Way Clear the way for me. In 2021. Every mountain. Level it. Every valley. Fill it up. Do you understand? Can God do it? Ah. <laughs> Can you say after make a way maker? Yeah. Clear the way for me. In 2021. Every mountain. Level it. Every valley. Fill it up. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Way maker. You are the one who can do it oh. With the heavenly bulldozer. Ma baka da shembre ke toro de bayaga na baya. Ere ke sombra yaga da lembra kote shebre de ba. Ne greke to sombra yaga da ba. Heavenly bulldozer. Make a way. Level the mountain. Fill up the valley before me in 2021. Iwalo le she. 
Iwalo le she na brahanda zabra hengo doya bra gene lengre sombe gadabaya na begore boshe thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray lord i pray for your people in 2021 every obstacle is removed in jesus name every mountain is brought low every valley is filled up thank you heavenly father in Jesus' name, we pray. Please sit. We've seen the manifestation of the waymaker as a bulldozer. But excuse me, there are some times when you get to an obstacle and the biggest bulldozer has no solution. I'm serious. I was, I was laughing to myself and glorifying God on Sunday when Reverend K.A.C. was saying the Holy Spirit spoke to him and said, Guruji, and he was wondering where to look for the meaning. I was laughing to myself. I said, ah, ah, emimi mosha. You know why? Last week, when I was preparing this, he spoke a, a word to me or a phrase to me, and I had to ask somebody for the meaning. I'm telling you, I was just smiling. When you want to do something. There are some times when you get to an obstacle in front of you. That obstacle is a major one. Bulldozers cannot help you. You know what God spoke to me when he was showing me this? He said you get to a point where you meet the cotton curfew of your life. That's how he said He said... You will need the way maker to manifest in another way when you come to the cotton curfew of your life. Ah, ah. So I now called the beloved sister who understands how. Sir. I said, excuse me, my sister. I said, what is the meaning of cotton curfew? I had an idea, but I wanted to be sure. She said, cotton curfew is like, you know, a very, very big ditch, a big pit. I said, no wonder. There is a place on the way to Abuja. Just before the bridge. It's called Koton Karfi. When you get to the Koton Karfi of your life. A big ditch. That bulldozers cannot solve. You need the way maker to manifest. As the overfly over. That's what he told me. He said, bulldozer cannot solve the... Excuse me. If a bulldozer enters into River Niger, Kilomashele, Aomarini, it doesn't matter. Let it be D20K. Because that's the Koton Karfi. I, I suspect, maybe that's why they named it. I don't know. Don't quote me. But I suspect, maybe those people, as they were traveling on their way, they met this and... Uh, uh, they said this one. Koton uh, Karfi, yeah, this one. Wherever you meet the cotton curfew of your life, the way maker will manifest as Jehovah flyover. <laughs> Let me show you. John chapter 5 is in the Bible. You'll be surprised. We know the story. We won't take it from the beginning. Is that man at the pool of Bethesda? You know the story very well. But God used it to show me that when you get to the cotton curfew of your life and there seems to be no solution, he shows up as Jehovah flyover. Let's pick up the story from verse 6. John chapter 5 verse 6. We can use the Amplified. And when Jesus noticed him lying there helpless, Knowing that he had already been a long time in that condition. Excuse me. Excuse me. Read the beginning. The first few verses. The Bible says he had been ill for 38 years. They didn't say he was 38 years old. That sickness had stopped his life for 38 years. He was traveling on the highway of his life. 
He had been meeting little, little mountains. He was surmounting them. Little, little valleys. He was surmounting them. But he got to this point. For 38 years, he could not pass. He got to the cotton curfew of his life. Bible says, verse 6, please. It is verse 6, yes. Knowing that he had been a long time in that condition, he said to him, do you want to become well? Are you really earnest about getting well? I, I, I wouldn't blame this man if he got a little bit irritated at that question. Because for a man who had been at a pool for, for so long, we're not sure maybe, maybe whether it was 38 years he spent at that pool, but he had been there for a while. But we know for sure that he had been ill for 38 years. And for a man to still be there, and then somebody is asking him, you really want to get well? He probably would have looked, you know, you know, there are some things you say when some elderly people you cannot talk to say, you'll be saying it inside. You'll probably be saying it inside, okay? Eh -eh, I don't want to be well. Oh, do my He didn't say that, too. I'm just speculating. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Verse 7. The invalid answered, Sir, I have no body when the water is moving to put me into the pool. While I am trying to come into it myself, somebody else steps down ahead of me. You know, when I was reading this, I just put a, a label in my mind. I said, this man was describing the traffic jam of his life. With a year to, to hold up, to, to hasten him. I haven't you ever been in a, in a hold up in a junction before? Everybody is struggling to go. You have to have boldness to drive in some places. My wife was telling me when I, some time ago that when I come, show me only drive. Who will drive Nigeria? Who will drive Nigeria? US, don't you drive here? You can drive there. You cannot drive here. Is it Okada you want to talk about? Or Mikra? Or Tipa? Ah. No regard for highway. Highway code. What is highway code? They have not even seen it before. Don't talk less of looking at what is inside. This man was describing a hold up, a spiritual traffic jam that had kept him in one place. He said, as I am trying, another person goes before me. Verse 8, quickly. We have a long way to go. I suspect Jesus looked at him. He just felt for him. If I try to teach this man the tactics of getting to the pool, if I try to educate him of how he can do some assaults, to get to the pool, let me, let me show up as Jehovah flyover. You remember those of you, our daddies and mommies, before they put the flyover bridge at uh, Mokola, you know how that roundabout used to be. But when you are going to Adamasiba now, and you get to that flyover, you just do beggars. Yeah. Next few seconds, bam, you're on the other side. Everything that is happening underneath, one lura, one new, one bar, one da, one kolura, one new, does it concern you? That is how God will carry over your problem next year in Jesus' name. Do you ever fly over? People of God, let's look at verse 9. Instantly, when he told him, pick up your bed. In verse 8, pick up your bed and walk. In other words, my waste time, Mare. 
If you say you should be struggling with these people, or let me create a flyover for you. And I suspect there is somebody here, you have been struggling for a job, a very good job. You have been managing and managing. In 2021, God will create a flyover for you. You have gone to meet people you know, and you say, ah, they will tell, they, they've been telling you, Europa, yeah, Europa, anyway. MD, any candidate, executive director, any candidate, managing director, any candidate, general manager, any candidate, before it comes to me. You say, you just be careful, just, just wait, 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 don't worry. But in 2021, God will create a flyover for you. One of my people in, in Canada was sharing with me. She said she's just trusting God for a job. She said it has been difficult. She said, but somebody just shared with her. I said, see, oh, God just did a miracle. She said, how? He said, somebody just called her and said, there is a space in this company. Come. She said the friend was telling her that she went there and was saying, so uh, when is the interview? The woman said, this is not a question of interview. Are you ready to start? That's the overfly over. Is there somebody here who will believe? You will get a job without interview next year. It can happen. No? I think it was Pastor Mene who was sharing one. Now they called her and said, come, come, come. Can you start tomorrow? Can you start tomorrow? Jehovah flyover is going to come on your behalf and create a flyover for you in Jesus' name. Can you rise to your feet? I want to teach you a song. Praise Tim, can you come? I don't know whether you know it, but it's a very simple one. Because if you are going to go by flyover, it's not on this ground, though. You are not going to walk on ground again, Abby. The song goes like this. It says, just like an eagle, Bay me fo, just like an eagle. Bay me fo, just like an eagle. Just, just like, like an eagle. Bay me fo, one more time. Just like an eagle. Bay me fo. Now listen. Bay me fo so wo. Bay me fo summer. Bay me fo lari. Oh, Lua. let me say it again. Pay me for so Pay me for so Pay me for Kinilari. Oh, Lua. just like an eagle. Just like an eagle. Pay me for one more time. Just like an eagle. Pay me for just like an eagle. Just like an eagle. Can you say after me seriously? Waymaker. Way In 2021, become my flyover. Did you get it? Okay, look at Jesus that I'm on you. Say be thirty eight, lo shilo. Only lo twenty si. Only o kusibe, and nothing will happen. But well, thank God, the Waymaker became his flyover. Can you say again after me? Waymaker. Way In 2021, become my flyover. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Waymaker, become my flyover. In 2021, I'm, I'm stuck. Become my flyover. I must surmount this problem. Become my flyover. 
become my flyover become my flyover thank you heavenly father in Jesus name we pray I pray for you as many of you are stuck on one spot because one major problem has kept you on that spot for years in 2021 you are passing over that problem in Jesus name you are flying over in Jesus name you will gain speed. You will regain lost time. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Please be seated. Isaiah 43. Back to Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. Can you please project it? I said we are coming back to it. He says a voice of one who cries. Prepare in the wilderness the way of the Lord. Clear away the obstacles. Make straight and smooth. Smooth. You know, a way can be level. A way can be straight. But it's not smooth. You don't agree with me? Ah, it's possible. It can be straight. It can be level. In the sense that it is horizontal. But... It is very rough. And this voice is crying. The road must be smooth. When the road is smooth, you enjoy it. Ah, you enjoy it. Hey, Joe, you enjoy it. And you know one of the things that makes a road smooth? It is not only the condition of the road. Also the condition of the car that you are driving. Excuse me, it doesn't matter how smooth a road is. I want more to come whatever war. The road is smooth, more to yellow rough. You have not entered such cars before. I know you people are too should have not entered. Maybe in those days you You enter some public transport. The road is smooth, oh. But the tire is doing like this. Book by one bay, you know you have to cook pocket to the bit end. It's not the problem of the road, it's the car. So for a journey to be smooth, not only must the road be smooth, the car must be comfortable. And excuse me, there are cars. Oh. Ah, there are cars, there are cars. <laughs> there are cars. I was, uh, what's the English of Danwaredu? You know what, you shall know the meaning. I was looking at some car magazines and I was looking at S-class messages and I was reading all the features. Eh? One S-class, each of its wheels has independent suspension so that when you are going on rough road, it is the tire that will be bouncing. The, road, the car will not be bouncing. You'll be traveling on the road and other cars will be doing like this. Your own will be straight and smooth. Why? It is your car. What is carrying you on your journey matters. Who? It will determine whether your journey is smooth, comfortable, or difficult. Now, can you imagine in 2021, Jehovah carries you. <laughs> your feet don't touch the ground. Some people look at me and they say, ah, Vika is strong, go, oh. Venerable is strong. You've been through a lot. Mama Reni, money strong, Kini. Won't be me, Reni. All long, be me, right? As a new conle. That's why it seems like it's comfortable for me. The road is rough, but the person carrying me is making it comfortable. The way maker will carry you in 2021. Can you rise to your feet? You know the song. Carry me, they go. Jehovah, carry me, they go, they go, they go. Is that your prayer? Carry me, they go. Jehovah, carry me, they go, they go, they go. Carry me, they go. Jehovah, carry me, they go, they go, they go. Carry me, waka. Jehovah, carry me, waka, waka, waka. Carry me, waka. Jehovah, carry me, waka, waka, waka. Carry me, waka. Carry me, 
Can you say after me, my father, my father, in 2021, carry me. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Carry me. Oluwa fi rin ajo 2021 fi ro mi lorun fi ro mi lorun carry me i know when you carry me it will be comfortable for me the road may be rough but it will be comfortable you will make it comfortable for me carry me jehovah carry me 2021 carry me carry my family carry my business nebra ke godaba Ma bre konda zabare geno shembra ya garaba Ma re kende sembre de kataba shembra ya balaba Mere azanda da de greke kato shembre keneba Carry me Carry me Apa mi uka Olu apa mi uka bara mi ube Except you carry me Ma zembre keto sobre kataba ya daba 2021 you need to carry me I want you to carry me. Make it comfortable for me. Oluwa fi ro mi lorun. Fi ro mi lorun. Fi ro mi lorun. Fi ro mi lorun. Ma ka bara ba ya gada ba sandare. Lembre ke to she bra ya gada la ba. Fi ro mi lorun. Ma se bra ka da re gara ba sende gero. In Jesus name we pray. I declare unto you, children of God, in 2021, the Lord will carry you. He will make the year comfortable for you. 2021, He will make the road of 2021 smooth for you in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated. Isaiah 40. Let's go back to our road. There is something there that out of nowhere it just seemed that God put it in road construction. He just put electrical engineering. In civil engineering, he just threw electrical engineering. Uh -uh. I said, Ele Gake. Isaiah 40. Let's start from verse 4. Where we read, you will see how it suddenly changes. Every valley shall be lifted and filled up, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked and uneven shall be made straight and level, and the rough places a plain. Now look at verse 5. And the glory, the majesty, and the splendor of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For who has spoken it? Who spoke it? He me. But he said, after going ahead of you next year as a bulldozer, as a as a waymaker, as a flyover, he says you will just see that. I come about street lights, but not in the street lights. Glory. Yo, the street, street lights, call any Nigeria, ah, in the street lights. Oh. Honestly. Uh -huh. I think in, in Lagos, yes, you have something that looks like street lights. A little bit. A little bit. But when you get to some places and you look at the highway, brightly lit. Ha ha. It's like there's a glory radiating. Upon your way in 2021, the glory of God will radiate. I say, upon your way, upon your path, upon your family, upon your business, in 2021, the glory of the Lord will radiate. Every eye will see it. I say, every eye will see it. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Can you stand to your feet? Praise him, come. I will advise you to stay here. Oh, yeah, Ninu, go. Oh, yeah, Ninu, go. 2021. Oh, yeah, Ninu, go. Oh, go.
the king of glory. In 2021. Clothe me with your glory. Tell them about war in your last show go. Excuse me. One nearly bobo kaso ki mo. One nearly go fine mo. You are saying uh, the reason I've not been married is because you see my shape is not like a long way good. If he clothes you with his glory, people who are figure eight will not find husband. The best husband will come and be looking for you. You that is horrible. And you say, ah, you say, because um, you see, can you more the lay on to connect me in the NMPC? It's because he has not clothed you with your glory, with his glory. If he clothes you with his glory, they are the ones who will be looking for you. Say, so, I know we saw you posted something on LinkedIn. Or we saw, and we say we must, it is you he wants. Can you say after me, King of Glory? In 2021, clothe me with your glory. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In 2021, when people look on me, let them see your glory. Magara sende gebre kota shembraya. Magra kasanda da greke keke to shobro ye karaba. Nangre keto sembre kende leberia da baje. Eh, maza praya gadaba. In Jesus' name we pray. In 2021, beloved of God, you are clothed with God's glory. You are clothed with His majesty. When people look upon you, they will see the favor of God. When people look upon you, they will see the splendor of God. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Now, if you want to sit, you can sit. But if you want to stand, you can stand. I'm going to give you a few minutes. What are the other things you want God to do for you in 2021? Before we go into the anointing, I want to give you, that is the instruction I received. Give them time to tell me what they want. Especially, particularly, specifically. I will give you a few minutes. There is something that you are not satisfied with. This is the time for you to tell God about it. Hmm. Hmm. Moti de Olorun mi ba mi so fun Jesu ki Jesu so fun emi mi mo igbimo meteta to da aye ati orun ipo ti mo wa yi o temi lorun lo mu ki npe yin mo le joko sile mo le jeun kin ma gba we sugbon ipo ti mo wa yi o temi lorun Lo mo kim bebe o O ti to a koko Waba mi shete mi o baba Sort this matter out In 2021 Finally, once and for all Permanently This is between you and God o. I'm giving you time That's what he asked me to do To give you time To talk to him Pour your heart out to him He's the one that you can talk to. He will make fun of you. There are some people, if you tell them what you are going through, they will make fun of you. They say, mm, I said, you are going to put you. But it's the one who can listen to you. When he let it go, he will be able to put you. He will be able to put you. He will be able Sorry, I have another appointment. Can you round off quickly? Round off, round off. Father, this is the issue I want you to solve for me. 2021, I want it to be my year that this problem will end finally. Let us begin to round off our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, your people have poured out their hearts to you. I ask you, answer them by fire in Jesus' name. 
let 2021 mark the end of this trouble in their lives in Jesus name thank you heavenly father in Jesus name we have prayed now let's quickly go to the anointing numbers chapter 16 I don't know how to title this one but I just try to look for a name earthquake anointing that I just you will see why I said that I've tried to give it a title but I didn't get a good title I just said okay let me call it earthquake anointing numbers chapter 16 you know the story it begins from verse 1 we won't begin from there it's a long story it's the story of Korah Dotan Dathan rather and Abiram you know what happened they gathered 250 princes and they said Moses but please you cannot claim you are the only one that God speaks to so there was a rebellion what they did if not checked was capable of truncating the destiny of Moses permanently you know I told you that there is a divine design for everybody Moses' divine design when he was born was come and lead my people out of Egypt to the promise. That was the destiny, if you can call it that. And midway, these ones got up and they organized a rebellion that was capable of truncating that destiny. And do you know that it happens at times as we are going along the way of our life, the path, the highway of our lives, things happen to us that are capable of derailing the purpose of God in our lives. Let's pick up the story from verse 26 quickly. Verse 26. Can we have verse 26? Thank you. Look at how God dealt with this problem. And he said to the congregation, depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men and touch nothing of theirs, lest you be consumed in all their sins. Next, next verse. So they got away around, from around the tents of Korah, Datan, and Abiram. And Datan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents with their wives and their sons and their little ones. Just as your, your problem, we still think that it is like before. But in 2021, the earthquake anointing, we swallow them up in Jesus' name. Next. And Moses said, by this you shall know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works. For I do not act of my own accord. Next one, sir. If these men die the common death of all men, or if only what happens to everyone happens to them, then the Lord has not sent me. Verse 30. But if the Lord causes a new thing to happen, new thing, 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 If the Lord causes a new thing to happen and the earth opens the mouth and swallows them up with all that belongs to them and they go down alive into the place of the dead, then you will understand that these men have provoked the Lord. You know what I was praying as I was preparing? I said, God, as your children pray, may their problems provoke you. Inulobi alone. Inulobi. And I pray again, your problems will provoke God. So that he will arise on your behalf. And as you apply the oil, the ground will open. It will swallow your problems in Jesus' name. Let's rise to our faith. I want to teach you another song. You know the, 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 the main one, but... I think this one is, is, is a prayer meeting of songs. Because as I was preparing, God just changed the song. 
You know this song. You know that song. He now changed it. You know we've been talking about Iyanu at Iyonu. Iyonu is a trouble. He now changed it. He said, Iyonu ma wole. Iyonu ma wole. Iyanu, Iyonu. Ti oju ti ri, araye ti ri yonu e. Wan ti ma, o le fi pa ma, o ti fiche packaging, packaging, ti 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 wan ri. Iyonu ti e ti ti kbo. Want to enjoy? You see two people. You are coming. You see two people talking. Chances are they are talking about you. Ah, entimo so you lumbo you lumbo you. Wala you lumba you kiri. Oh, ribo sheri. Oh, ti ti jala jala. Want to enjoy? Iti tigbo. You no tell no ti so. Loru ko Jesu mi o. You no ma wale. Excuse me, when the crowd op- when the ground opened, the Bible says, Korah, Dathan, Abiram, their sons, their wives, the whole family got swallowed up. Ah, Mulolo Unleu, Tobabinu Unleu. I think he just said, let this problem end finally. If one of the children is left, he may decide hey, what my father did. I want to avenge. I want, to, I want to talk my own now. I want me to take Uda. He said, let's solve this problem pro- finally. Today, as you anoint yourself with oil, that problem will be swallowed up permanently in Jesus' name. Yeah. Can you sing that song? Again. Again. Again, Let's take it from the top. Iyonu ma wole. Iyonu ma wole. Go go Iyonu ayeli. Iyonu ma wole. Iyonu ma wole. Go go Iyonu family bi. Iyonu ti eti ti ko. Iyonu ti eti ti ko. Iyonu ti eti ti so. Amen. Can you say after me, Father? By your power, every problem troubling my life be swallowed up. You think God can do it? I know He can do it. I know He can do it. Can you say it like this? Father, let this trouble be swallowed up permanently. I don't want you to repeat this prayer point. I am trusting God that by the end of 2021, you will not have to repeat this, at least concerning this trouble that you are talking about. Can you say after me again? Father, by your power, by this anointing, today, let this trouble be swallowed up permanently. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. By this earthquake anointing, let it be trouble swallowed up. Let this trouble be swallowed up permanently in the name of Jesus. Let it be swallowed up permanently. Mazebreketo shembraya gadaba. Nesebreke dele baradabayanas. Marege sendreketo sebrene maya. Nesebreke 
ne cre che sondre catabasherebe. In Jesus' name we pray. By instruction, when you receive this oil, we're going to still pray about it, but you're going to go home, please. You will anoint the four corners of your room or your sitting room or your, or your compound, whichever you can do. The more, the better. If it's every room you can do, do. We don't have time to explain why you are to anoint corners, but I've said it before. When the devil wanted to attack Job, the Bible says a wind came and smote the four corners of his house. And all his children died. Corners are where you have the strength of a place. So you will anoint the four corners. First and foremost, any spirit of infirmity living in that place, plaguing you in that place, will be swallowed up in Jesus' name. The ground will open spiritually and swallow that infirmity in Jesus' name. Then, for some of you, I know at least one person has come physically to my office to complain to me. Some of you have been eating in your dreams in the past few months. Just take a bit of it. Just take a bit of the anointing oil. And trust God for a purging and a cleansing. And whatever it is that is a poison in your system will be purged out in Jesus' name. Then there is somebody, I saw it, it just came as a flash. In your dream, you are stung by a scorpion. In your dream, some time ago, you are stung by a scorpion. If you remember the spot, just take this oil and put it on it. That poison will be rendered useless in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stretch forth our hands to these bottles of oil. I've told you many times, it is ordinary oil. You can use it to fry dodo. You can use it to cook stew. But it becomes extraordinary when you and I apply our faith. When you and I agree as touching it, the Lord will make it supernatural. Let's begin to pray. This oil will perform wonders. If you want something to be done apart from what we have said, let's just say it right now. Just as you pray, just say, Father, as this oil touches me, this is what I want to happen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, if you are here with your own bottle of oil, or it's a bottle of water, or it's an object, can you raise it up? If you are watching me, Via the internet, you can also raise it up. There's no time, space, or distance in the spiritual realm. The Lord God is there with you wherever you are, either in this country or outside this country. Raise it up to the Lord. Father, we raise up these objects to you. They are natural, they are ordinary. But we agree that the Holy Spirit will come upon them and make them do extraordinary works in Jesus' name. We agree. That by the faith we have in you, they will do supernatural things in Jesus' name. As your people drink this oil or this water, every poison in their system is purged in Jesus' name. Their strength is renewed. Their strength is renewed. Their infirmities are healed. As they used to anoint the corners of their home, Father, wherever the spirit of infirmity has built a stronghold, it crashes down to the ground in Jesus' name. The ground opens and swallows it up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You may be seated. Can you bring out your offering? Let's try to do two things at the same time so we can save a few minutes. Can you please raise your offering if you have it in your hand? And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bring this offering to you. This is a token of our appreciation. And you, we pray that you will accept us and our offerings in Jesus' name. 
Sanctify these offerings and make them acceptable unto you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can we have the praise team? And can we have the Guild of Stewards to please come? Our fathers in God, can you please set up? Mm -hmm. I want you to please anoint people. You are going to anoint people, please. That's the instruction I have. Anoint people. So we can have three of you to make it fast. Praise team, over to you. Doors are open, chains are broken in your presence, Lord, as you show up, Lord. Doors are open, chains are broken in your presence, Lord, as you show up, Lord. Baba, all our rooms, O God, all our the King, the way maker. Baba, all our rooms, O God, all our the King.
Let's go. 
We are not taking you for granted. It didn't have to be like this, but you were merciful. You didn't have to show up, but you did. We are grateful. Father, we say thank you. Please take a few seconds and thank him. I'm grateful. Ma can you do well? Ma can you? Ma can you? Father, thank you. I am grateful. It didn't have to be like this. But you honored us. You honored us. You honored us. By allowing your Holy Spirit to show up and to minister to us. Who are we? Who are we? Thank you. Loche. Loche. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord, I declare over your children. You said 2021 is our year of new beginnings. Lord, in their lives from today, not from next year, Father, from today, let glorious new beginnings start for them in Jesus' name. glorious new chapters of their lives begin in Jesus name let old things pass away those things that have been troubling them father you said old things shall pass away let these old things pass away they shall see them no more they shall see them no more. Sickness, pass away. Lack, pass away. Bad luck, pass away. Misfortune, pass away. Disappointment, pass away. Marital problems, pass away. Barrenness, pass away. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. As a family of God, let us say the grace together. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Please, just very in a very orderly manner, you can come um, take oil. The priests will also be there. We have quite a volume available, so don't need to rush. Priests, please take your place. Take your place. The Lord our God is King of Israel. The Lord our God is mighty. Is full of grace and mercy. Is Given us his son Emmanuel, atonement for all our sins, a gift to set us all free.